Hey, what is going on YouTube? David here, bringing you guys another YouTube video. And today we're finally doing the accessories video. It's been a long time coming. I'm sorry that we had to do the other video last week. I just felt like it was a really time sensitive thing and I wanted to get that out there before this one because, you know, like I said, I might be able to help somebody. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you're new here, I'll leave a link down in the description below of what I'm talking about and I'll also leave something probably somewhere here, a link to that video so that you can get up to speed on what's been going on with my car. I've been buying a lot of accessories and I mean a lot, like pages worth of Amazon accessories for the most part of a month now and I probably spent over two thousand dollars I'm not kidding on accessories but trust me I bought a lot of stuff but I'm doing it all for you guys so you guys don't have to deal with all the crappy products that are in a huge abundance on Amazon and I'm gonna get straight to the point so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this video down into two parts the first part I'm gonna do necessities like the absolute stuff that you would totally need to get on a new Tesla Model 3 Model Y I'm pretty sure most of the accessories in this video will apply to the Model 3 and the Model Y. And the second category that I'm going to add is the added functionality category. These are just some accessories that aren't necessarily a necessity, but I felt like it would be beneficial. More or less, these products add some sort of extra functionality to your car. And everybody is different, so some people might like the added functionality. So I'm going to include some of those in the video as well. Part two of this video is going to be more about like the cosmetics, and some of the mods that you can do. So without further ado, let's start talking about the accessories because a lot of people are telling me that I waste a lot of time talking. The first accessory that I'm gonna recommend is the grocery bag hook. So in the Tesla Model 3, for some reason, there's this metal screw that kind of hangs off on the inside of your trunk. So I have this little grocery bag hook. I find it very useful if you need to hang some fragile groceries like some egg, wine bottles, or anything with like glass, you can hang it on the accessory hook on the back. Or if you're like me, and you're always out buying boba or tea drinks, you can also hang those on there as well without worrying about it spilling. This is highly recommended. Number two on the highly recommended necessities list is gonna be a screen protector. As we all know, the Tesla Model 3 or all Teslas their center control console is the computer to monitor everything. This is where you control the major functions of your car, basically. So you want to keep this protected. The one I'm going to recommend is by Spigen, and I've been using Spigen products for a long time. They have this really easy screen protector installer that you really can't mess up. Idiot proof like myself, I was even able to install it easily, so I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to do as well. It's really good on keeping off fingerprints. It also helps reduce glare so that you are able to see the screen when you're driving, which is very important. For the most part, Spigen products, highly recommended. The next thing that you're really going to need is is a cup holder. So for some reason, Tesla decided to design the cup holders to be huge on their cars. Now this is really good if you're planning to put a huge water tumbler in here, but for regular people that have just like a soda drink, a regular size bottle of water, it actually doesn't hold the cups very well. You can spill it very easily when you turn or when you drive and accelerate. So one accessory that I found that you may or may not like is this one by Joa. Joa? Joa. Joa? Joa. I don't know. So with this cup holder, you can put your regular water bottles, your cans of whatever, sparkling water, sodas in here, and they will not tip over when you drive. Also, because of silicone, you can clean it very easily. So if anything gets dirty, it'll also protect your car from, you know, getting sticky when you spill drinks in there. And when you need to clean it, just pull it out and you can just wash it. Very simple. I'm going to highly recommend this, but there are some alternatives. An alternative to the Joa cup holder, I have this little gadget here that gives you similar results without having to actually cover up your cup holders if you want to try to keep a stock look without looking too crowded is this simple accessory that you simply plug in it doesn't exactly work the same way as there's still some shaking going on here it's not as tight as the joad but it's definitely better than nothing so if you're going for that clean look like my girlfriend is this could be a good option for you. The next thing that's super recommended is a charge lock. There's so many videos about strangers stealing Tesla owner charging plugs at charging stations out there. With this charging lock accessory, you will no longer have to worry about that and it'll prevent anybody, including yourself, from pulling out the charger from your car. The only way to remove this thing is if you go onto your app and actually unlock the charge port and then you can remove it. 
So that's one way to prevent people from stealing your charge plug when you're charging it at a public charging station. Simple and effective product, highly recommended. It comes in all types of colors. I got the red one because it matches my car. Now I also have this phone mount, also by Joa. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by Joa. They didn't send me anything for review. I bought all their stuff off of Amazon with my own money and I'm giving my honest opinions on their products. I have this phone mount by Joa that sticks on the back of by the screen. If you have an iPhone 12 or newer, this is a highly recommended product because you guys have the MagSafe on the back of the iPhone. You can actually pull in and out. You can also adjust the screen orientation of your iPhone and it's pretty sturdy from my testing. It beat out a lot of the other phone mounts that I had, like the Spigen one. That one was not extendable. If you don't have an iPhone or you don't have an iPhone that's compatible with this MagSafe mount, you can also get this other one by Joa. The next product is this one by Carwiner. It's a rear trunk side organizer. Now by default, the rear trunks of the Tesla Model 3 has this really awkward space on the side where there's this hole and it doesn't make any sense. With this side organizer, you're actually able to turn it into a secure compartment with a cover that actually looks really OEM. This is highly recommended. It makes your trunk look a lot cleaner, a lot more organized, and it helps make use of that space in the back that's kind of awkward without it. So we all know that there are an abundance of council tray and armrest tray organizers out there, or whatever you want to call them. Even Tesla sells them. I bought some, including the Tesla one, and I ultimately decided to go with this one made by Again, Choa. I did this for a few reasons. There is so much space in here to put items that it really sets it apart from the other ones that I have tried. However, because it is so deep and spacious, I find it a little difficult to get the tray actually out. This is actually completely fine with me though, as I personally prefer to have some more space on the top tray so that I rarely need to go and get items from underneath. Another added bonus on this item is that Joel actually sells this nifty little nightlight that doubles as a flashlight. Tesla cars are by nature pretty dark at night for the most part since there's really not much lighting in there and it really makes it difficult to find things or look for small items at nighttime. This solves that issue as you get this little motion sensing flashlight ready to use in your organizer. It actually senses when you open up the council tray and will actually turn on once it senses that you've opened it. Don't worry though, as it won't burn up too much battery since it is smart enough to turn itself off after a certain amount of time. There is also an option to turn it on and also just turn it off as well to conserve battery. Obviously, it's a perfect pair as the two are made for each other. This setup works so well and that's ultimately what won me over from some of the competitors. I really like the fact that the upper material is made of silicone and not the regular flock material made on most of its competitors. This is absolutely an A plus item, highly recommended in my book. It looks pretty nice, looks pretty classy, and I think it's a valuable addition to your car. I am going to keep this and keep this little setup that I have going here until I find something better. As for my center council tray, I went with this one by Basinor. There is this little clip thing on the side that actually lets you clip in a few credit cards and normally I put a few credit cards in here that I normally wouldn't use and I normally don't keep in my Apple wallet. What I especially like about this tray is that it lets me feed through this USB cable that actually lets me just charge devices inside of this tray because also this tray is really spacious and quite deep. Because this storage tray is so wide and so deep, I actually don't need to go down to the bottom very often. Obviously, it all depends. There's so many options on Amazon and so many options out there for you guys to choose from. Personally, this is what I found to work very well for me and I really liked it as I have very easy access to my ports and also I'm able to feed that cable through the hole and everything just works well and it's very clean and simple for me. That's what's most important and everybody is different so ultimately it depends on you. Personally, I really like this setup. The next category we have is additional functionality. Tesla makes their Model 3s with this little empty space under their armrest. To me, it is essentially wasted space. Unless you have this next accessory, or next couple of accessories actually. The first one is if you want to keep that simple and minimalistic look, in which case I have this armrest lock box. You simply just stick the box into this hollow area and it will lock itself in. You are able to stick some private items in here that you would like to hide away or some of those items where you would normally not use and the storage space is quite discreet so many people wouldn't really know that there's actually a storage space in there. 
One potential negative though is although I haven't tried to remove it, it could be quite difficult to get out since the space is quite small and tight and the box is stuck in there pretty well. So you could consider this a permanent accessory. However, if you are interested in creating a storage space in here and don't necessarily want to jam a plastic box into your car, you could consider getting this armrest. Now there are two variations of this item. One of these has pockets on the side that are also quite useful as you could stick your phone and wallet in here. The pockets aren't very tight though, so if you did open the armrest, your items could potentially fall out of them. However, they both serve the purpose of adding the secret storage space as well without having the need to stick a physical box into that little storage space. I'm able to fit a couple of wallets in here that hold a few of my debit cards, credit cards, and some cash. Very useful and handy product in my opinion. However, if you do like the minimal design and want to limit the amount of aftermarket looking products in your car, the storage box may definitely be a better option for you. Another really important item is the sunshades, especially if you live in somewhere hot like I do. Now, the ones that I got here are from Tesla. They're quite expensive, but I think they've been the best fitting that I've found. I like it because because it actually does the whole car, the whole back of the car, rather than just parts of the car. Like some, I don't know what that lady's doing behind my car. Just bear in mind though, if you're leaving your car parked outside the whole day in the 100 degree heat, this isn't gonna do anything. It's just to keep your cabin cooler while you're driving and also to prevent your head from getting roasted by the oven. For this accessory, I really recommend the Tesla ones. This next accessory I have is this little foldable work table that I use in many of my older videos and shorts that you may have seen in before. It is this handy little foldable table that fits in the back of your trunk space when not needed and easily folds out to be a full working table that can even hold my 16 inch MacBook Pro iPhone, and even a beverage of your choice. I pull it out and it lets me do work in the car while I'm waiting for my girlfriend to come back from shopping or while I'm just charging somewhere. And I don't find it being too tight on myself. You can always adjust your car seat to make the table a little bit more appropriate for your fitting and needs. This next accessory works with the trunk storage box I featured earlier. It's the simple Velcro patch that you simply stick into this awkward space that would be otherwise near useless. This creates this little pocket for storage space and now you're able to put papers or tools or anything that you need to put away on the side without it having to interfere with items in your trunk or getting things dirty. You have one additional useful storage area in your trunk and also you have that secret compartment underneath as well. Speaking of additional storage area, this next accessory also adds a simple pocket storage space. These little flock pocket trays are simple yet effective in creating another space to place any items you can carry around with you often, such as keys, phones, wallets, power banks, sunglasses, etc. I find in the Tesla Model 3 that if you're not charging your phone on the charging pad, there really isn't a very appropriate place to just rest your phone and just sit it on something. It is a very subtle accessory that you won't really notice for the most part as it blends in pretty well when you look at it from your seat. However, if you do look at it from the side, you could potentially see a little black box hanging off the door. The next accessory is actually this ring I have right here. Now, I'm not wearing this just for fashion, but actually this is a backup key in case I don't have a key to my car. I like the design of the ring as it isn't too obnoxious and it has this optional Tesla logo on it as well that you can only see if you really look for it. The pairing of the ring was extremely simple and even though at first it was a little confusing on how to actually use it, but it didn't take long for even an idiot like myself to figure it out and get it and now be able to open my car door pretty consistently. But more so, I just think it's super James Bond like to actually have your actual car key on your finger. It comes in a lot of other different colors too. So if this gloss black isn't your style, I'm sure you'll find something that suits your needs. Now the next accessory are these little neck pillows. I saw these online and didn't know whether or not I should actually get them because I didn't feel like there was anything wrong with my Tesla seats. But I bought them anyways because I was just buying up almost all of the accessories on Amazon so that I could do this video. When they came in and I installed them, I actually found them to be surprisingly comfortable. I think by original design, there isn't much neck support on the Tesla Model 3s. However, with this pillow, I actually found my neck to feel quite supported and actually pretty good. All you need to do is just loop the elastic band over your headrest and the band can actually hide right into the seams of your headrest and it actually won't show. My girlfriend also likes these pillows as well when she drives my car sometimes and she has actually asked me to get her 
pair as well. But be careful though if you have the white interior, as I saw one Amazon review stating that the color rubbed off on the white seats a little bit. I'm not sure if this is a fake review or not, but I do want to warn my viewers when they're buying accessories. If you guys are finding this video helpful and informative, please consider subscribing to the channel since this video did take a lot of effort to make. It takes a lot of hard work to buy the accessories, try them out, return the ones that are crap. I also balance a full-time job that I often work overtime at, so it hasn't been easy for me to make trips to my local UPS store, Kohl's, or Amazon hubs, whatever it is. I really enjoy making these videos though, and interacting with everyone, it really motivates me and it keeps me going. So thank you all for the continued support. I can't say this enough times. Please share with your friends and family though if you do find me entertaining, helpful, or informative. The next accessory is this LED council hub by Choa. I like it because it blends in with the center council seamlessly. It also adds the functionality of having this mini LED light that you can turn on and off at night in case you needed to see into your organizer tray. It also adds two USB-A ports and one USB-C port in case you need to charge anything in your car. It works well because the charging ports are outside so you don't have this awkward cable hanging out of your door. I find it pretty neat to have in case I do need to charge an external accessory like a power bank, a GoPro, or something like that. It also only takes one USB-C port inside of your car so it leaves you one remaining USB port to do as you please. The next accessory is this tray that again gives you some storage space in your car. It is positioned right underneath your wireless charging pad in the middle and it gives you these two little storage areas, one on each side of your front seats. One negative that I found is that sometimes when driving I find my knees be sometimes touching the pockets and it gets annoying sometimes as it can feel a little bit crowded. I decided to add this accessory into the video anyways in case anybody out there finds it useful for their needs basis. However, personally, I don't think I won't be using this accessory and I already have too many accessories that create additional storage areas in my car anyways. The last accessory that adds functionality is this storage box for the back seat. On the Tesla Model 3s, there's this area in the back seat under the AC fans that is just empty and it wastes a lot of space in my opinion. If you normally don't have anybody that's going to be sitting there, you could get this storage box that fits very well in that area and you can use it as a tissue box holder or use it to store some items like maybe hand sanitizer, toys for your kids, your mask stash, or other items. It fits very well and the build quality is very good. I like it better than some of the other ones that I bought since the other ones I bought were poorly made and just feel like really cheap plastic. I like the feel and the material of this item and it makes use of some of this wasted real estate in the car. And that concludes my accessory video guys. If you like some of the accessories please let me know which ones you like the most down below in the comments and if there's something I missed that you would really like me to review please also let me know down in the comments below and I might consider buying it and reviewing it for you guys as well. Like I said I'm gonna be doing a part two of this video for more of the cosmetics so stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching this video until the end. My name is David signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! I wanted to add that I finally got my social media going. I have my Instagram linked down below. So for everybody that's been asking for social media contacts, down below. Sorry, it has been really hot the past few days. I'm out here trying to get YouTube footage while I'm on my break at work. I'm doing my best, guys.